this side. Are you okay? No. Just give me right. Sciences building executed by the administration of His Excellency Nelson Mwese Wike, COMGSSR, COCS Africa. The Governor of the US State, commissioned by Professor Akbar Hassan Oyen Waziri Mubi, Chairman, Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria. Let me first of all appreciate and thank our special guest of honor the Chairman of Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria for accepting to be here with us today to commission the faculties of the clinical sciences and basic clinical sciences in spite of the short notice. On behalf of the government and people of the state, our special guest of honor, we want to thank you so much for coming to identify with us and the university. Let me say clearly, when I was to run for governorship 2014 to 2015, I had an interactive section with the members of the River State uh, Nigerian Medical Association, NMA, Portacourt Branch, or River State Branch, as hotel presidential. And one of the promises I made to them then was that I was going to establish the medical college in Arriva State University because I don't, I couldn't fathom out how a science university would be without a medical and other, other allied courses. So I gave a promise that I was going to establish the medical college. To the glory of God, today we have a medical college. Let me also thank the Pro Chancellor, Chairman, and the Vice Chancellor and their team for the pressure. What I mean, pressure, pressure they put on me. In fact, part of my having some high blood pressure sometimes is the pressure from the Pro Chancellor and the Vice Chancellor. I've never seen people, when they want something for the university, they will make sure from morning to night. Even when I say, let me travel for my holiday, that text messages and phone calls will still be coming in. Of course, that's what's expected of leadership who want to achieve something for the institution or organization they work for. I know when the register came with members of his council, and they were insisting that this is, these are the conditions, if we can make commitment just like the post chancellor said, and I said to them, you don't need that committee. Just believe it will happen. I'm not going to sign anything. Just go home. Before you come back, the post chancellor would have told you what we have done. And so I called the post chancellor. I said, well, how much is it going to take to establish all this, equip them, the pathology department, the basic clinical science and the clinical science. When they told me, and I don't want to, since they didn't say the amount, let me not say the amount. Because they all dodged the amount. So me too, I would dodge the amount. But I remember that particular day I gave them this morning. It was shocking to the entire country how a government can release money 100% 
not only to build this, also the campuses, the three campuses, Emowa, Ahuda, and Eche. And all those campuses were all flagged off the same year time with Dix. And all those campuses were finished building them. It has been commissioned. And again, they came back for the quarters of the lecture, as I speak to you. They have all the university main campus, the Ahura main campus, the Emboha main campus, and they take up. I have paid 100% for the staff quarters to all the contractors. I paid 100%. And if you check, we flagged down this project June last year. We flagged down the one of the cancer center July last year. We flagged up the campus, the outside campuses, June, July last year. All the projects were commissioning lots. For example, the flyover tomorrow, the flyover Thursday, the law school on Friday. All these projects were flagged up within July last year, and all had been completed. All. All have been completed. What does that tell you? That's why when I came in here, I saw these buildings, I felt so bad. And I thank the chairman of NMA who said that this project was not done by us. But government is a continuum. You see, if you don't have commitment, if you don't believe in what you're doing, it will be difficult for you to finish those things. Now, I'm being vindicated when I say, look, don't award contract when you know you don't have money. Don't allow pressure to go and award contract you can't fund. What has helped us today is that we don't normally pay money to most of the contractors 10%, 20%. If we don't have money in our, uh, in our account, we will not award the contract. And so every contract we have given 70%. There is no variation. Because no contractor will come and tell me, after giving you 70%, there will be variation. No. And that tells us that that is why, at the national level, the problem we are having is that until the National Assembly, which is most unfortunate, most unfortunate, very important projects. Take, for example, the cancer center we commissioned yesterday, Dr. Peter Lee Cancer and Cardiovascular Center. That center cost us $25.9 billion. And we're not waiting a dime. We paid to Las Vegas 80% upfront. And they completed it within record uh, time. Now, if it's a National Assembly, a project that will cost $25.9 billion. They will include for this year's budget $500 million. And then you can only imagine what will happen. For a project of almost $26 billion, you are putting in the budget $500 million. In essence, in 20 years, there will be variation upon variation upon variation upon variation on that particular project. And at the end of the day, the project will be abandoned. With the inflation rate we have in this country today, if I now say let's complete this project, it will be more expensive than the original cost when it was uh, awarded. But that tells you that look, we must change our pattern so that we can we not be having abandoned the uh, project. We must change our pattern. And that's why I told anybody who cares to hear, by the grace of God. I will not leave any project unfinished. I will make sure all the projects we have started are finished. If they are not finished, maybe 95%, when my successor, similar to Fubara and Dr. Ngozi, when they come, when they come, they should not use this for their 100 days in office and commission them. Because they are part of what we are when I say my successor, you know they will win. It's not a question of you, you know they will win. Because, because our report card is there to show for us. When the period of operation show your report uh, card, what have you done? I have done this. 
You promised to bring medical school. Have you brought it yet? What is the position of the school today? Accreditation is going on very well. Go to the teaching hospital, the university teaching hospital. You had the best of the equipment. The best of the equipment can talk about. I don't say any teaching hospital in this country today can compare with what you have at the university, university teaching uh, hospital. I told my commissioner of the health when he was going around the cancer center. I said, look, when you were in university, did you see this equipment? He said, sir, the truth is that they just tell us story. I've never witnessed all this. But some of you should be lucky that you are getting the best of the best. We are commissioning the renal center and the house officers uh, hostel, which have been completed, furnished. But it imagine my, I mean, this is my bedroom that a teacher was like that since never had a renal center. Go and see the mother and child, the oncology and pediatrics, see the cancer. So those of you who will be using the teaching hospital for your learning, you have nothing to lose. You are getting the best equipment, practical. What you see in overseas is what you are seeing here. So you must count yourself to be lucky that you came at a time where you will not say, we don't have a laboratory, we don't have this, we don't have that. You have everything now. So there will be no excuse for you. All you need to is to concentrate. I thank the poor chancellor and the vice chancellor that the lecturer didn't go to strike. If they are going on strike, I would have all of them. No, but because the truth is, if a university has a problem somewhere and you don't have a problem, and I pay you salary, why are you going to have sympathy? When we have problem, our university was shot. Did anybody have sympathy with you? You do for me, I do for you. I mean, uh, I mean, so this period of we being used as, oh, you know, we are in Asu. I agree. We were in Asu when this reversal was shut down. Asu never went on strike. They never go on strike. They didn't go on strike because of your school was shut down. And I told the university, when I came, I bought by the lecturer and I said it to me. You can only go on strike if there's anything between you and the river state government, if you say we are not providing the basic things to run a university, then you can go and strike. But if we are doing that and paying you, sir, in fact, we are paying the high salary of lecturers. As far as I'm concerned, most lecturers are moving down to your university. So there's no need. And that's why we say, like the medical students are saying, they are lucky. Assuming the, their teachers went on strike, what would have happened to you by now? So we thank God that we have a management who is very proactive, management that cares for the students and staff, and that's why they are getting everything they want to get. You talked about the School of uh, Nursing, I have read 50%. You are just telling me here today that you have gone far, you need to have 50%. Write to me and tell me the state you are now. Uh, so don't make it known now, see if you have told me before. You have not told me before. Some of you use uh, uh, media to get something. Let me also tell them that it's not true. You are just saying here, what you didn't get through the door, you can't get through the window. So you must write to me and tell me this is the stage we are. Just like the professor said, there are 75% in the pathology department, but I'll tell you the percent in that. Uh, so this year, do your work well. Don't come and carry your problems and put on my head. You know? So please, if I go back and see what you, I see that you are written and attack the pictures, what is the problem? How many leave 50%? The quarter ought to have reached 70%. But I pray that we we'll commission that project before we leave. Now, the medical students have asked, and I just said, if I asked the poor chancellor, they told me that that is the hostel there. Yeah. That is the hostel for the medical uh, students. But you know, I'm not a medical doctor. I'm a lawyer. That's my profession. Don't be competing with us. Don't be competing uh, with us. When you have your own uh, governor, then you can do everything. But the way you are doing now, see if uh, you want to rub shoulders with the legal uh, profession. But I have no choice. Who am I? I can assure you in the next two months, We'll complete this hostel.
University has a lot of things they are doing. The Commissioner for Special Projects, as we live here, go there, look at what is remaining, how much it will cost us, so that we can do it immediately. The Vice Chancellor, I've been here three or four times, unknown. Sometimes I come in the night. I want to appeal to you make sure the pathology department who was commissioning it, latest. January. And that your broken record, what I mean your broken record is that that is the only one that will not finish as we stated. Even though you have said design, design, design. But of course people will know the extent of the land before you do design. So it is not our own fault, it is your own uh, fault. So please, whatever project we are doing, close mark those who do the design, make sure you don't come back to say you had a problem as a, against the uh, design. Each time I pass there, I see the building going on. So I ask, they said, you told me it's for pathology uh, department. So please, 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 let the contractor hasten up to make sure that we finish those uh, projects. So, Mr. Chairman, I thank you so much for what you've done for us and for what you continue to do for us. God will continue to bless you, your register and members of your council. I, I was told they came for some accreditation. Hey, what did you do? The accreditation, you can see the accreditation here. You don't need to worry yourself now. The school has already accredited uh, itself. So you can now go, just write it there, that we have given the 100% uh, accreditation. So you don't need again to begin to go to work for one place to the other. Seeing this, uh, believe him. So I thank you. And let me assure you, when I sit down with the university management, I hear general one is supposed to be the orthopedic uh, department. But what I found out, and which is correct, that we build hospitals as if they are mere houses. That's what I found out. I got this experience in modern child hospital. And that was why we had a lot of us. They just awarded it, brought somebody who, you know, you're building three bedroom flats, four bedroom flats. Hospital has a different design. I got to know about this as we are building the cancer center. Go to that place and see what is called a hospital. Design with the manufacturers of the equipment. As they are working, the manufacturers are also there working, telling them what to do. So you will see any, I can tell you that if you go to that, out of, um, Automatic department. If we award it now, you will see break. They will be breaking everywhere. And that is not the way it's supposed to be. So from onset, it must be designed with the type of equipment that you require. And those who supply the equipment, the manufacturer will also be there. So we will not be spending this money that you come, you build, then some other person come to do the, uh, uh, for the equipment. It becomes a problem. And that's why I was happy with you when you started building here. I said, make sure the equipment, those who supply the equipment or furnish it, must be part of the building so I won't have any process. Go to um, um, Dental uh, Maxillo. Go and see what is happening there. And the ENT, ear, nose, and uh, throat. So we will be able to decongest the teaching hospital. So students will have a variety of areas for your housemanship and the rest of it. Go and see the Kelsey, uh, Kelsey Harrison uh, Hospital. Go and see what we are doing. By the grace of God, by December this year, all those projects would have been uh, finished and then they become part of the teaching hospital of the River State uh, University. And I stand for anybody to challenge us that what we have said is not correct. So on behalf of the government and people of the state, Mr. Chairman, I invite you to come and talk to your students and then commission these projects to the glory of God. Thank you and God bless you. Congratulate his executive, his excellency, on the latest recognition 
an award by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari, GCFR, Commander-in-Chief, Nigeria Armed Forces, for recognizing me in infrastructure de delivery and affirmation of excellence in governance among the 36 governors. Somebody mentioned earlier that he was the talk of the town. I think he is the talk of the country. I am privileged to be invited on this occasion to commission one of the projects in health sector among several projects that had been commissioned so far. For us in the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria as regulator in training and practice of medicine and dentistry, we wish to note with satisfaction the developments are so far done in this sector by your government. Healthcare training and services is anchored on a tripod of consists of personnel, infra infrastructure, and equipment procurement. His Excellency government has invested satisfactory in this entire tripod, starting by development of power in the health sector. This has given a foundation to sustain the investment in the infrastructure and equipment procurement. It will also provide opportunity for research and invention. I learned that over 300 medical and staff, staff had been trained and are being paid regularly, higher than any government, including the federal government. This will certainly help to forestall the cancerous brain drain in this sector. Your government, as of yesterday, commissioned a cardiovascular stroke cancer center named after a distinguished elder and medical practitioner and politician, Dr. Peter Odili. Furthermore, other projects we have seen included the mother and child hospital. The project to be commissioned today is another area why deficiency in several medical and dental tra training institutions, which is responsible for many of our young Nigerians living to travel abroad for medical and dental education. Medical and Dental Council Nigeria, on its part as a regulator, need no Nigerian to go abroad for training if there are adequate facilities within the country. This database had been put by your government again certainly provide facility for high quality medical and dental training for indigents, not only, only of the river states, but for Nigeria. You have already trained and retained high caliber personnel led by a competent provost. Your Excellency, this approach of provision of qualified personnel, high quality infrastructure, excellent equipment, will certainly address the issue of brain drain, help in retaining Nigerians to be trained in the country and provide the mat required clinical services to forestall medical tourism. In addition, research in the various fields of medicine will be readily available. I hope the postgraduate medical college will, do, will come and see these facilities for the purpose of training and research. On behalf of the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria, I wish once more to congratulate you and pray that your successor will maintain this investment you have made, not only for reverse people, but for Nigeria. And I, I also hope other governors will emulate this tremendous milestone development. This has to start by the very foundation you started with giving scholarships for students to be trained within the country, like the one in Palmo University, which is still continuing. In conclusion, I congratulate you, and indeed people of River State, for getting somebody like you to give these services, and pray that they have some, someone to sustain this.